What's up, Nick? What's up? What's up? All right, today we're grinds. today we're going to work on front side carve grinds in corner pockets. This is a broad corner pocket and the goal for this is to bend down. You're going to pump up into your carve grind and you want to keep a nice smooth rainbow up and into your carve grind. So keep a nice smooth turn, but control your height to get close to the coping through your pumping up. So it's better to start slow and really exaggerate your pump up and into it and then tuck down and pump out. And as you get more comfortable, then you can start to go faster into it. Good. Good try. All right, how much further do I need to go up? It's gonna be a little bit more. So now what you can do is start to add to that by a little more speed in. Now, if you go too fast, I don't want you to panic, but you're gonna cut, cut by leaning on your heels Look down and watch the coping, and then you'll turn with the coping and just follow the coping until you feel that pull from gravity and then cut in and, and pump back down. Okay. Turned out. Now, the next most important part of this is anywhere that you enter your grind, or enter your carve, any any point where you enter your carve, you want the apex of your turn to be in the furthest part of the corner. So think of that. You want the apex of your turn to be in the farthest part of the corner. That way, while you're riding up and into your grind, right when you hit the coping, the coping starts to turn in and the, the corner starts to turn in to catch you and hug you as you carve back down to help you come back down get out right so you feel safer yeah because if you were if you're to carve in and hit hit your grind early before the corner starts to carve then then it's gonna feel like the ramp is falling away from you got it right so yeah, then like that won't straight, feel like that won't feel carve. comfortable yeah yeah, yeah straight carve yeah all right good very smooth that looked awesome so this is what I'm talking about so Here's your blue line here. Here's your blue rainbow up and in. And then I put this big blue line here. And this is the deepest part of this corner. So that blue line is the deepest part of the corner. And then as you hit your grind and start to come back in, then the corner starts to cut in and catch you. And then it, 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 you'll feel yourself get pulled back and in into the bowl. And it'll just feel so much more comfortable. Yeah, give it another. Hey, that's it, dude. Good job. Gotta get a little more on it. Yeah, and then as you build confidence and consistency, you keep trying this and you'll start to learn how much effort you need. And then you can start to, once the confidence comes, you, you'll just be able to focus more on getting your grind and less on, on any kind of fear. So you're doing fantastic. Coping, are you heavy footed or light footed? I stay light footed and I stay, I pump up so I'm, I'm standing up pretty good yeah. yeah and then i'm just leaning back on my heels watching my grind and then i wait for the feeling of i start to feel gravity start to, to pull on me heavier and then i i lean in on the heels and tuck down and pump in okay. nice and smooth right, yeah. cool. almost but your turns are looking a lot smoother so that's good and again as you build confidence with this you'll, you'll just continue to get better better about coping. Good. So notice his apex is right around here, right? And then you can see the seam of the concrete. This this seam of the concrete is actually half. How they pour this is two, two sections here and then they half it for you in this turn and you can actually have a visual guide of where the deepest part is and that's where this line is. So he's trying to come up. So he starts his turn where that blue dot is. Walking over the blue dot and then into that corner there and then the ramp carves in and catches him 
to pull him back into his turn. So make sure you're pumping up as you ride up and then tucking at the top or standing up. If you have enough speed, you'll be able to stand up into it. And the standing up is, is what's best. And you'll feel the centrifugal force keep you pressed against the wall. And as you ride down, then you tuck down and pump in. Pump up, yeah, exactly. Now, if, if, you, if you feel yourself and you have the speed that you want, next is going to be to pump up a little bit longer. Pump up a little bit harder, a little bit longer. And typically, that's the thing, holding that pump up. Almost. Kissed it. Good. Yeah, for anybody wanting to learn this, the whole thing is you just start inch by inch and work yourself up inch by inch here then here then here and then really go for it and try to just get your wheels on the coping once you get your wheels on the coping you'll be like okay i'll be all right and then once you once you go a little bit higher you'll hit your trucks and you won't even be able to tell a difference That was good, dude. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was perfect. Didn't sketch. That was perfect, dude. It got a little wobbly, you know, like when I hit it. I saw. I saw. That's okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Again, rolling. Just, just more Roll confidence. Up. Yeah. Just keep doing it, yeah. and like, you'll just build more and more trust in it, and you'll be like, hey, I got this. Easy. Good double car. Remember, take your deep breath. Try to keep a consistent speed with each try as you roll in so that you have a good starting point and then you add to that starting point each time. I think I got good speed. I think I got good. Right here is about right. For speed. Yeah. Yeah. You'll hear it. You'll feel your wheels go over but it won't affect your carve at all. Get it. Back out. That was on me. I had, to, I had the speed, I just needed to pump higher. You're doing great, man. Try it again. Nice deep breath. Locking those feet in riding position, heels and toes matching. Bending down to the pump, really snapping up. A little bit more, bigger, slower pump up. Keep reaching up into that coping. Good. Scratch you. Remember, as you roll in, snap up a little bit more. Let yourself pump up. Keep pumping up. Your brain's gonna tell you not to. Keep pumping up. Okay. Come on, Nick. You can do it, dude. Come on, Nick. <laughs> to the pot of gold. There you go. Get that grind. Come on, man. Here it is. Here it is. Big pump. Really up, 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 up. Oh! Where was it? You got your wheels on there. <laughs> Little bit more. Okay, now. Now give a little more speed into your roll-in. A little more speed into your roll-in. You can pump the same, just a little more speed. Little more. I'm turning out of it, dude. It's all right. Not the speed. Remember, let the turn do the work. 
right? If you roll the ball into the same path that you're rolling into, the ramp's gonna turn the ball. So all you're really doing is doing your lean and your pump, lean and your pump. And you can manipulate your, your how high you go with your a little bit longer pump. Yeah. A little bit more reach of that pump up. I think I gotta start my pump up later too. A little early on my timing. Good, your carbs look fantastic, man. They look really good. That one would have been perfect, I just got a little more on it. It's all good. Setting those feet, nice big pump. Really up, 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 up. Oh, that's better. I had it, I touched That's it, it. exactly. So you just gotta reach up a little bit more. And this is the mind battle. Because it feels like you're flirting with slamming, you know, when, when you when you hit that coping, especially a pool coping. It's pool coping, it sticks out. It's not even hard. Yeah, this is soft right? coping. Not even this hard, right? Be an easy one. Okay. Big pump. Up, 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 up. I had it. God damn it. <laughs> the struggle is real. You're mine, baby. Come on, Nick, you can do it, dude. It's right there. Focus on those feet. Bigger, longer pump up. Big tuck, big pump. Come on, up, 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 up. Hey, almost. You're, so you're, getting, you're building consistency with getting your wheels on the coping. Right, so just take that one more inch. Little more speed into your rolling. Bigger pump. Big pump. Good. Good, dude. Way to push it. Get on it? Yeah. Yeah, I felt it a little. Yep. Back more in front. But. So now, add some speed. Add some more speed into your rolling. Remember, if you go too fast, it's still okay. You just have to turn on the heels and go parallel with the coping. And that should be easy for you. How about let's experiment with that right now. Which one? Don't hit the coping. I want you to I want you to roll in fast, undercut the coping. So roll in fast, pump hard, but just ride parallel underneath the coping. Yes, dude. That's better. Good. The faster you roll in and pump, is the more you'll be able to ride parallel through the turn and then cut down after the turn you'll have enough force to keep you stuck to the corner. Good. Up into that grind. Up into that grind. Come on, bigger pump. Really snapping up. That's better. Let's, let's change it up for a second. All right, we'll take a couple runs in a bowl. Clear your mind, feel your pumping rhythm, feel the speed. All right, here you go. I'm gonna follow you. Don't worry about me, just stick, yeah, no, stick to your line.